हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग क्लास थ्री साइंस चैप्टर सेवन हाउसिंग एंड क्लोथिंग सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाई एंड राइट व्हाट ईच वन इज डूइंग चूज फ्रॉम द वर्ड्स गिवन हियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ गार्डनर इज डैश द गार्डन सो गार्डनर इज स्वीपिंग द गार्डन Saurabh is dash his toys so Saurabh is organizing his toys dad is dash his car so dad is cleaning his car a woman is dash the floor so woman is mopping the floor our house like birds and animals human beings also need a place to live in they live in houses a house can be big or small a clean house helps us to remain healthy and happy a house gives us shelter from cold rain wind and heat of the sun it also protects us from thieves and animals now what is our house made of our house should be strong enough to give us protection it should have firm base or foundation strong walls and a strong roof a house is built using different materials cement steel bricks wood glass and iron are some materials used to build a house walls and roofs are made of stones or bricks and cement you cannot see bricks because there is a layer of cement and paint covering them Doors and windows can be made of wood, glass and metal. Floors can be made of cement, marble, tiles or wood. A good house. A good house should also have the following features. It should be well lit, airy, neat and clean. So first of all, a well lit house. A good house should have sufficient number of windows and doors so that sunlight reaches inside the house. Sunlight keeps the house dry and free from germs. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant. Next, an airy house. A house should have ample circulation of fresh air through windows and ventilators. This helps us to breathe well. A house should also have open spaces such as verandas, courtyard and balconies where we can get plenty of fresh air and sunlight. Windows should have shades to keep the rain from entering the house. Wire meshes on windows prevent insects like mosquitoes and flies from entering the house. The kitchen should have an exhaust to let the smoke out. Why should we have glass windows in our house? So we should have glass windows in our house so that sunlight can enter the house sunlight enter the house and keeps the house dry and free from germ because sunlight is a natural disinfectant wooden houses protect the people living in them from cold how because wood is an insulator so cold do not enter the house name the people who help to keep our house clean so our maids or domestic helps and we ourselves can keep our house clean so we can keep our house clean ourselves or with the help of domestic help or maids a neat and clean house a house can have separate places for sleeping washing cooking eating storing studying and meeting people this helps to keep the house organized and neat the house should also have double doors that is wooden door and a door with a wire netting windows should also have wire meshes in order to keep flies and mosquitoes away there should be a proper drainage system to carry away dirty water drains should be covered properly this is how we can keep our surroundings clean we should have green plants around our house plants give us fresh air we can see in this picture green plants in the veranda a window with a wire mesh and a well organized house how can we keep our house neat and clean 
all the garbage and household waste should be thrown into dust bins dust bins should be covered and cleaned daily we should not let garbage and water to collect around the house mosquitoes breed in stagnant water and can cause diseases like malaria and dengue we should use a disinfectant to clean the floor daily the floor should be swept and mopped daily dusting of the house should be done on a regular basis bathrooms and toilets should be cleaned regularly things such as toys books clothes shoes and bags should be kept at their proper places this way we will not find it difficult to locate things the next time we need them the disinfectant used in water for mopping the floor kill germs now check point 7e fill in the blanks with the correct option number 1 a house provides us shelter house provides us shelter dash are made of marbles or tiles so floors are made of marbles or tiles a house should have a proper dash to carry away dirty water so drainage system a house should have a proper drainage system to carry away dirty water plants give us fresh air plants gives us fresh air number 5 mosquitoes breed in dash water mosquitoes breed in stagnant water stagnant water clothing Long long ago people used parts of plants and skin of animals to cover their bodies today we wear clothes made from fibers such as cotton silk wool and nylon clothes protect our body from the sun wind rain cold and dust there are mainly two types of fibers natural and human made natural fibers natural fibers are obtained from either plants or animals Natural fibers are of two types plant fibers and animal fibers Now first of all let us see plant fibers So cotton balls from the plant are used to make fibers So we can see from the plant we have cotton and then we have a cotton dress cotton balls from the plant are used to make fibers and then dress cotton is obtained from cotton plant and jute is obtained from jute plant we can see jute plants jute sack and jute bag out of jute fibers now which indian state is largest producer of jute so west bengal is largest producer of jute now let us see animal fibers So we have two types of animal fibers here silk and wool Silk is obtained from the cocoons of silk worms silk worm we can see a silk worm then cocoon out of cocoon we get silk thread and a silk cloth Wool is obtained from yaks and sheep we can see a yak then we get wool from the yak and from wool we can make woolen clothes like gloves hat muffler etc human made fibers human made or artificial fibers are made by human beings these fibers are also called synthetic fibers some examples of human made fibers are nylon acrylic tricoton rayon and polyester we can see a nylon rope an, an acrylic sweater tricoton materials and a rayon carpet now choices of clothes the choices of clothes is dependent on weather condition in summers we wear light colored clothes made of cotton or linen such clothes do not absorb sunlight so we feel cool they also allow body heat to escape cotton clothes absorb our sweat in winters we wear dark colored clothes made of wool such clothes keep us warm by absorbing the sunlight and preventing our body heat from escaping during the rainy season we wear cotton or synthetic clothes as they dry very fast 
we often use a plastic rain coat when we go out in the rain plastic does not allow water to pass through we also use an umbrella to protect ourselves from getting wet we can see summer clothes winter clothes and clothes and objects used during the rainy season like umbrella and rain coat moths can damage woolen clothes storing woolen clothes along with neem leaves keeps moths away so we should store our clothes carefully now keywords natural fibers fibers obtained from either plants or animals plant fibers fibers obtained from plants animal fibers fibers obtained from animals are known as animal fibers human made fibers fibers made by humans they are also called synthetic fibers summary we should take good care of our house a good house allows plenty of sunlight and air to get in our house should be free of dust and germs clothes give us protection from the heat of the sun cold wind and rain clothes are made of fibers and fibers can be either natural or human made we should wear clothes according to the weather we should take good care of our clothes now exercise number 1 objective type questions a tick the correct answer number 1 a house should be well lit airy neat and clean so all of these so d option is correct all of these number 2 green plants around the house give us fresh air a option fresh air third jute is a an dash so jute is a plant fiber so jute is b option plant fiber fourth dash is a human made fiber dash that is rayon so rayon option c is a human made fiber number 5 we use this when we go out in the rain so option c rain coat we use rain coat when we go out in the rain question b fill in the blanks using the picture clues so there is a lot of dust in the living room i should clean it with a duster d u s t e r duster next i will clean the kitchen floor with a dash so that is mop m o p mop i will keep all my clothes twice books in a almira almira i should open the dash to let in fresh air so i should open windows windows to let in fresh air next i will put all the household waste in a dust bin so this is dust bin c for each sentence draw this smiley if it is true and sad if it is false number 1 we should take good care of our house so this is true so we can make this smile second if water spills on the floor we should not mop it so this is false so we can make sad smiley this is false third we should wear woolen clothes in summer this is false because we should wear cotton clothes in summers so this is false fourth we should not keep things in their proper places this is also false we should keep things in their proper places fifth our house should be free from dust and germs this is true our house should be free from dust and germs next question number d rewrite the incorrect sentences correctly number 1 living in a dirty house can make us healthy so this is incorrect we can write living in a clean house can make us healthy so we can replace dirty with clean second a house should have few windows and less open spaces so that it does not allow sunlight and fresh air to come in so we should have more windows and more open spaces so that it allows so we can cross does not so it allows sunlight and fresh air to come in 
third floor should not be swept and mopped daily so we can cut not floors should be swept and mopped daily fourth household waste should be thrown out on the road household waste should not be thrown out on the road so we can add not should not be thrown out on the road fifth clothes protect us from heat of the sun cold wind thieves and rain so we can cut thieves because clothes can protect us from sun cold wind and rain but not from thieves so we can cross thieves here so we can left thieves because clothes cannot protect us from thieves so second short answer questions number 1 name a plant fiber from which we make clothes so cotton is a plant fiber from which we make clothes second name an animal fiber from which we make clothes so wool is an animal fiber from which we make clothes third what kind of clothes do we wear during summers so we wear light colored clothes and cotton clothes during summers number 4 name two things that we can use to protect ourselves from getting wet in the rain so we use a raincoat and umbrella to protect ourselves from getting wet in the rain so this is the end of the chapter housing and clothing so friends if you like the video then please like and share the video and do subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video and keep watching for more such videos thank you